Hi students, uh, in this video we just uh, see the important three pedangles uh, for the exam. Okay, number one, see look at this, this one, this rounded elevation is called olive. Next to the olive you are having your inferior cerebellar pedangle. The inferior cerebellar pedangle, so many tracts are passing through that. What are the tracts? Tract number one is olive to the cerebellum. Here you can see the cerebellum, olive to the cerebellum is um, uh, number 1 olive to the cerebellum it is called olivo cerebellar number 2 here you have the spinal cord is a continuation this bottom is continuation continue as spinal cord so from here the spino cerebellum that spino cerebellum you have to mention whether it is upper limb part or lower limb part or uh, the upper part of the trunk three things you have to mention the upper limb part is carried by the tract called cuneo cerebellum so it is also going via that the lower limb tract called the posterior spino cerebellar it is also going via this tract to the cerebellum so at least the student should mention olivo cerebellar cuneo cerebellar posterior spino cerebellar and this entire region you have the reticular activating system so reticular cerebellar all the four tracts you have to mention extra one important tract is fiber is uh, from the arcuate nucleus arcuate nucleus is the one which is situated below the pyramid so this is your pyramid right this is your pyramid below the pyramid you will be having the arcuate nucleus arcuate nucleus is mcq nothing but the displaced pontine nuclei that is the pontine nucleus is present in the pons the displaced pontine nucleus is present beneath that that is called arcuate nucleus from the arcuate nucleus you will be having anterior external arcuate fibers which is going via the spidangle into the cerebellum so these are the tracts which is present here number two from the cerebellum to the <coughs> medulla few tracts are going via the inferior cerebellar pedangle now first one i said the tracts which are from the medulla it is going to the cerebellum now reverse from the cerebellum it is coming to the medulla is cerebello olive cerebello reticular and cerebello vestibular here you will be having vestibular nucleus so this exactly the junction ponto medullary junction here you will be having the vestibular nucleus so the three fibers are going so you can write in the short notes all the, the here five there are three three totally eight tracts you can write here okay this is the spotter spotter number one is olive olive is produced by what that the olive is produced by the inferior olivary nucleus and number two pyramid pyramid is produced by what corticospinal fibers and number three spotter is inferior cerebellar peduncle name the tracts number four spotter is pons and they put the pin over here this area this area is the middle cerebellar peduncle which connects the pons to the cerebellum so the only one tract here you have to mention that is from the coming from the cerebral cortex cortico ponto here you can see you know that transverse fibers these are all pontinucular fibers so cortico ponto cerebellar so this is the tract only one tract which is present in the middle cerebellar peduncle then this one is the superior cerebellar peduncle superior cerebellar peduncle i ask the student to mention only two at least one is anterior spino cerebellar another one is uh, cerebello rubral or rubro cerebellar anything so these two only you have to mention that is only mcq so um, there are three spino cerebellar anterior spino cerebellar posterior spino spino cerebellar and cuneo cerebellar among the three which one goes via the superior cerebellar peduncle so you should write the anterior spino cerebellar goes via the superior cerebellar peduncle cuneo and posterior spino cerebellar goes via the inferior cerebellar peduncle this is the mcq thank you